Black History Month starts next week, but we honor black history today. A filmmaker from Louisiana tells the story of murdered child Emmett Till and his mother's fight for justice. Keith Beauchamp shares why he chose this film, his personal connection, and why it resonates today. Alexandra Meacham has more. This was my boy. The story of Emmett Till is now told in history books, but what it took to get there is laid out in the MGM production called Till. Emmett Till was a 14-year-old black boy from Chicago who went to visit his family in Money, Mississippi in 1955. During a stop for candy at the local grocery store, he was accused of whistling at a white woman. That night, her husband and others busted into Till's family home. I want to talk to you about that boy. They've come for you. Kidnapped tortured, shot him before throwing his body into the river. Three days later, his body was found mutilated. The white men later went on trial, but were acquitted by the all-white male jury during this Jim Crow era of the South. And although Emmett suffered an horrific death, he, he didn't die in vain. Emmett Till's murder became the catalyst that sparked the American Civil Rights Movement. Keith B. Champ is a co-writer and producer of Till. He says his inspiration for making the movie was Till's mother, Mamie Till Mobley. She was a mentor and friend of mine for eight and a half years. And so she was my inspiration on carrying the torch and making sure her son's story is told. But she was one of the most prolific people I would ever meet in my lifetime. It changed my life tremendously. And when she spoke, her words moved your soul. This was my boy, Emmett Till. The movie follows Mamie's history-changing decision to hold an open casket funeral. They have to see it for themselves. The world saw what happened to her son, and Till became an icon for the civil rights movement. The lynching of my son has shown me that what happens to any of us anywhere in the world had better be the business of us all. The fight for freedom and equality for civil rights and human rights is an ongoing fight and that we must remember our past because if we don't, we're doomed to repeat it, and that's what's happening today. Bichamp says it's a story of a mother's strength, resilience, and unwavering attitude about what is right, something he hopes viewers take home from the experience. So this is a story that should be told time and time again to awaken that sleeping giant for change. And listen. That was Alexandra Meacham reporting. Fox 2 and News 11 are proud to honor black history. For more stories, visit our featured section at fox2now.com.